Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, if I could call you to order within this virtual space. Uh, it's so nice to have all of you here. And uh, if, uh, like me, you are all excited and got dressed up, wonderful. Uh, if uh, you got dressed up uh, to a certain extent, also wonderful. If you didn't get dressed up at all, please make sure that your camera is not switched on. It is wonderful to have you here. Welcome to the NWU Faculty of Natural Agricultural Sciences Staff Acknowledgement Function of 2020. For the first time, I think, within this virtual environment. Uh, my name is GP and I'm here to facilitate uh, the award ceremony and to guide you through uh, what's uh, coming your way uh, this afternoon. Uh, before, uh, I'd like to share some housekeeping rules with you. Uh, on your right hand side of the screen, you will see a small green button. Uh, if you click on this, you will see the chat and Q&A function. Uh, now, we would love to see you chat away within uh, this chat function uh, because we can't uh, hear all of you when you shout congratulations and wave your arms in the air and click your fingers, clap your hands and so on. Uh, this is the place where you can really engage with us and chat away. Uh, it'll be wonderful to see your comments in that uh, chat box. You're more than welcome to congratulate your colleagues on what's to come. Now, you'll see that uh, uh, some people will receive rewards and others will hand them out. Uh, we are not restricted in who we congratulate. So if you'd like to congratulate someone uh, on their skill regarding handing over of rewards, you're more than welcome to do so as well. So to enjoy optimal viewing during the presentations, you can click on the small box in the top right hand corner. Now what will happen then, uh, it will expand the presentations if you'd like to see them more clearly. I'm not too sure if you can expand my picture, uh, but I do realize that you don't often see uh, Ginger in December in a suit in a, and a if you'd like to see more of me, try to expand me. Otherwise, uh, just stick to the, uh, the presentation. To get seated at a table, now most probably you are seated at a table now, but later on you'll be able to move around and go and visit others at other tables. Uh, just double click on any of the open seats. Now what we'll do this uh, afternoon is the school directors will announce winners on all campuses where applicable. And uh, to the award winners, what will happen is we will call you up to the virtual stage. Um, you can take your time walking there, but you, you won't be able to take your way to the virtual stage. Uh, you'll receive a notification on your screen and then just join us uh, during the function uh, when you're announced. So when this happens, please just accept the request and uh, your screen will automatically appear alongside that of your directors. Uh, and for those who are not attending this afternoon's function, you'll see as we go along, uh, we'll show their name uh, on the PowerPoint presentation that will be shown on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the Executive Dean has been preparing this past week an incredible speech. It involves uh, little snippets uh, of history, uh, little snippets of the future, he worked incredibly hard on this, and uh, we need to now give him the opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite Professor David Mudise to the stage uh, to share a word of welcome. Professor, over to you. Good evening, colleagues. Um, hope you can all see me. Um, well, in the first place, I'm not uh, dressed because I'm coming from the farm. We had a mini crisis at the farm and we had to go and resolve it in Mahike. And uh, I do appreciate, I can see all of you are very well dressed. Um, I haven't prepared a long speech simply because I think you must have had enough of me, you know, in the whole year. And uh, today it is your day, it is really not my day. Um, so for that reason, I've decided um, I was not going to make a long one. 
but I will uh, certainly welcome you. So I'm, I'm switching my camera off because uh, I, I just want to be able to save some bandwidth. Uh, colleagues, this is the end of year function and staff acknowledgement of the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences. And um, this is done virtually, which is the first time ever. And uh, I must uh, thank everybody involved in making this happen, especially Ashley and the team around and our consultants from external. It is ex extremely wonderful uh, demonstration of what uh, uh, IT can do and then um, for IR. Colleagues, the end of the year is a time to reflect on our actions in the past years, successes and the challenges that we have encountered. It's also a time to kick off our shoes and embrace a relaxed atmosphere, much different to the usual academic flurry. This year has been a shock to all of us with the advent of the COVID-19 pan pandemic. It has also been a steep learning curve as we had to move out of our comfort zones and learn many new ways of becoming relevant to cope with the pandemic. Importantly, we had to learn to teach and assess online without the luxury to learn at our own pace because at the uppermost of our minds was to save the academic year and also to ensure that none of our students are left behind. In spite of issues of data and access to equipment such as computers, we had to change our delivery mode to the blended remote teaching and the grapple with how we conduct our practicals, demonstrations, and field excursions. Even though we have been talking about 4IR, we actually dived in and implemented some aspects of it. We would have predict, predicted that our end of year function would be virtual and done through a good platform, platform such as this one. I'm happy to say that the faculty has done very well generally. There were a few minor worries at most, but we managed to deliver on our mandate. Just a brief, you know, um, highlights, you know, some of the highlights uh, that demonstrate our successes, and they include the following. The first one is the NRF rating. We currently have a total of uh, about 84 NRF rated scholars, but just, just, just this past few weeks, we have seven new ones for 2020, including B rated ones. We are still counting because not all results are in from the NRF. So far, the ratings we have uh, as follows. This year, Prof. Louis Labuskagne, B1, Prof. Paul Bukas, B2, Prof. Devald Faniker, B3. You can see, colleagues, we have three Bs already, you know. And then C2, uh, Prof. Olubukula Babalula, Prof. Clovis Nochi, C2, Prof. Leonard Santana, C2. We can also see, colleagues, that we have C2s. And then we have um, uh, Dr. Rencia van der Sluis with a Y2. So this actually means that we have now reached the 90 mark. And uh, as we continue to have the largest number of NRF rated scholars in this university. And then in terms of publications, we are currently about um, maybe 30% less than where we were this time of the year in 2019. I know there are still a lot of articles that are under review. And in spite of the limitations to access to the laboratories, I expect we'll still be first or second at Northwest University. To cream it off, we have some publications in Nature, by Rentia, and the impact factor of that publication is 24.36. Many of our colleagues are serving in external committees and institutions, and they're serving as editors of high impact journals, as board members, as directors of joint research projects, etc. Some have been nominated and have actually won external awards for excellence. Uh, we continue to produce excellent masters and doctoral graduandis. Um, we are also visible in the communities in terms of outreach and engagement. We played a big part in the COVID-19 fight by partnering with the provincial government to produce our own sanitizers and provided our own mobile clinic for testing for COVID-19 in communities. We have a respectable number of staff members that were promoted to various 
academic levels. Congratulations to all of them. Let's do this again in 2021, but I do advise that you seek um, you know, your uh, uh, assistance from your director of, uh, just to determine the state of your radiance before you apply. We also still managed to secure external funding for research, uh, community engagement from various sources, even though it is becoming increasingly difficult to get funding due to COVID-19. We managed to sort out the ethics issues in the faculty and uh, are also busy with the risk and compliance register and other governance matters. Thanks, thank you very much colleagues for, for all the good work. We continue to excel in mathematics in the international arena. We continue to have an impact in research externally. Just recently, the collaboration between um, Professor James Chiwez in Japan, Korea and China, the collaborations by Prof. Marcus Butcher, Nicholas Smith, and um, Professor Victor Webner, Paul Bugas, and many others that uh, I mentioned in 2019, but which, which are still in existence. Colleagues, these are just some of the highlights. I might have left out uh, many others, but we can be happy that we have done quite well in 2020. I deliberately do not want to be specific about the achievements as those or some of them will be highlighted further by the directors when they give out the awards to their staff members. Colleagues, that in, in brief, that is what I would like to say, just to thank you for all the good work and to thank you for attending this um, end of the year function. It was very important for me that we have it, you know, because I just felt that um, after working so hard, after not seeing one another the whole year, but I think it was just a logical thing that at the end of the year, we should be able to talk to one another, even though it is virtual. Colleagues, I thank you, I thank you, and now I will hand over to the director of ceremonies. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Mudise. It's wonderful to hear from you, and uh, uh, whilst listening to you, it seems as if the faculty, uh, they've really busied themselves in this year, and uh, you've done really well. Uh, thank you so much to the executive dean, uh, for the opening and the welcoming, and uh, it's, it's just great to have you here at the start of this event. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you might notice in the chat uh, box that many are experiencing difficulty here or there, uh, and then you'll also see the reply from our technical team. Uh, as they say in broadcasting, our technical team uh, is working on the problem. Uh, so just check out the uh, comments and uh, see to the guidelines that they give you and uh, and follow that. They're actually very bright, uh, the technical team. Uh, so if you have any other issues uh, that you'd like them uh, to provide clarity on, such as what to have for dinner tonight, or perhaps even a whole uh, menu of what to expect for the rest of the week, I'm sure they'll be able to assist perhaps a little bit later on. Right, now let's get right to the awards. And uh, um, we're going to start with schools and centers. Uh, first up, I'm going to ask Professor Lebu Seru to uh, join me on stage. Professor, if you'd be so kind, you'll... Uh, 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 good afternoon. Program Director, Mr. Fan Lebu Seru. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Fan Oats Ruan. I would like to um, welcome everyone, and I would also like to um, thank the Dean for, the, for thanking all the staff members in the faculty for all the hard work and dedication that they've done for the year. From the School of Physical and Chemical Sciences, we would like to present the following awards to our staff members, colleagues, in the two categories. That is, the first category is the exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning in the subject group leader, in the subject group biochemistry and chemistry and physics. And the second category is the exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery support services in the school 
I will present in both campuses. That is the Mahican campus and the Cochistrum campus. I will start with the Mahican campus. From the Mahican campus, uh, from the subject group biochemistry, we would like to um, thank and appreciate the, the exceptional contribution from Dr. Fortunate Mugwena in the biochemistry subject group. I think uh, Dr. Fortunate Mugwena can uh, join us in the virtual um, stage to accept his uh, award. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> we really appreciate all your hard work, Dr. Fortunate, and from the School of uh, Physical and Chemical Sciences, would like to say uh, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Prof, and thanks to everybody in the department. Okay, thank you. The next uh, award uh, goes to Dr. Esther Fayemi from the Chemistry Subject Group. Uh, Dr. Esther Fayemi, can you please join the virtual stage to accept your award from the school? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, Dr. Esther, we really appreciate your hard work in the school and also in the Department of Chemistry from the Mahikeng campus. Please keep on uh, working hard and making us proud. Please keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am. And then the next uh, award winner is Dr. Chris Inditwani from Physics in Mahiken campus. Dr. Chris, can you please approach the virtual stage to accept uh, our appreciation and acknowledgement from the school for all your exceptional contribution throughout the year? I don't think you have the right Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Chris in D20? <laughs> no. Okay. Are you accepting on behalf of Chris? Um, well, if it's something to eat, then I'll happily accept it. <laughs> no, don't worry. I think we'll fix, we'll fix that one. <laughs> we'll fix something to eat for you. Okay. Is Chris around? Okay, I think uh, I will accept on behalf of Chris. Uh, can we move now to the second category? That is the exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services in the school. And the award goes to Ms. Murendeni Ravelli. Ms. Murendeni, can you please approach the virtual stage to accept your award? Hi, Ms. Ravelle. <laughs> I would like to, yes, I would like to present an award from the school, and I would like to thank you on behalf of the school for all your dedication during this year. And please keep it up. Please keep it up and keep on shining. Thank you. Um, the next uh, awards goes to, uh, like I will present the awards to the Pochistrum campus. And then the first one is uh, from the biochemistry subject group. It's Prof. Zander Linde, Lindic. Prof. Lindic, can you please approach the virtual stage to accept your award from the school? Hello, thank you. Hi, Prof. Lindic. <laughs> Hello, hello. Uh, as the school, we would like to appreciate your exceptional contribution throughout the year, and we really appreciate your hard work and dedication. Please keep up shining, and uh, all the best. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thanks. And then the next um, nominee is the combined lecturing staff of chemistry.
they will accept the award in absentia because they are not available. It's from the chemistry department in Pochistrum campus. So the award goes to the combined lecturing staff of the chemistry department of the chemistry subject group. We really appreciate all the hard work from all the staff members in the chemistry department and would like to tell them that they should please keep it up and keep on shining so that uh, yes so now is the we go to the next um, award nominee the award winner is from the physics uh, subject group that is mr herat murdaik mr murdaik could you please approach the virtual stage to receive your award hello mr murdaik Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Um, as on behalf of the school, we would really we really appreciate your work and also dedication throughout the year. And please accept our acknowledgement award for your hard work and please keep it up. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Thank you. And then from the second category, uh, in terms of the exceptional contribution, in terms of uh, service delivery, support services in the school from uh, Purchase Room Campus, is Ms. Ronel Node. Ms. Ronel, could you please? Oh, Ms. Ronel is also, um, will I will accept the award in absentia because Ms. Ronel Nodea is not available. That would uh, conclude the awards from the School of Physical Sciences. Thank you, Program Director. Thank, thank you so much, uh, Professor Lebu. Uh, really appreciated your presence here on stage and for what you've done. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for all your comments and congratulations. It's wonderful to see. I can think that uh, for those who, uh, who they are directed to, uh, that they would like to uh, have a, a screenshot and perhaps save it somewhere and frame it uh, to show their families. So thank you so much. Keep it up. We're moving on to the School for Biological Sciences and I'm going to ask Professor Sarina Klaasens. Uh, to join me on stage. Professor Sarina, if you'd be so kind. Uh, thank you, and we are in your hands. Thank you, Gheapia. Colleagues, yes, this year it was even more difficult to select the winners of these awards because every staff member in the School of Biological Sciences went above and beyond expectations to ensure that we make a success um, of the delivery of this strange and challenging academic year. Nevertheless, we selected some colleagues that stood out and we felt that the contributions that they made this year will go even beyond 2020. In the interest of time, I'm going to try and ask both um, of the winners that are attending to join me on stage. Um, so first up for the Mahi King campus, is Dr. Dekobe. She's getting the Exceptional Contribution for Teaching and Learning Award for Botany. If Dr. Dekobe is available, she can join me. Then in absentia for the Microbiology subject group, we would like to acknowledge Dr. Madira Mangani also for her contribution in teaching and learning, and then for an exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services in the school on the Mahiken campus, Mr. Johannes Moraperi, also in absentia. I think we can then move to the Potschiffstrom campus. Also, uh, three awards in absentia this afternoon. Um, Dr. Jakub side note is attending, if he can join me on stage. Jakub is receiving the award for an exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning in microbiology. Thank you, Jakub. We would 
like to thank you for your contribution, not only this year, but in general in the subject group. And after our meeting this morning, we are anticipating um, also an exceptional contribution in 2021. So thank you very much for your hard work. Thank you. Then for exceptional contributions um, in zoology and botany, also in absentia, Prof. Louis de Prier and Professor Sanet Janssen van Vieren. And then the last award for biological sciences is for an exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services in the school. And I would like to award that to Mr. Lip Fenter, also in absentia. Thank you, Gheapia. We can move on to the next school. Oh, thank you. We uh, uh, had a moment there without a microphone, but thank you, Professor Sarina. It's uh, wonderful to have seen you on stage, and thank you for your work as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, the School for Geo and Spatial Sciences, uh, including the academic staff from Disaster Studies uh, in this section. And I'd like to call on our next presenter, Professor Stuart Bequet, uh, to join me on stage here. So, Professor Stewart, if you'd like, I'll be happy and then hand over to you for all the uh, awards that you have to award. We are in your hands, Professor. Thanks, Kepi, for the introduction. If you promise not to try to pronounce my surname, I'll promise to do the same with yours. Okay, first awards, we're going to go to the Mafeking campus and uh, we have uh, two awards in that category. But in this format, the one thing that you probably shouldn't try to do is to just speak all the time. So I'm going to call up, very first person I'm going to call up is Ms. Nisa Ayok. Uh, and uh, while we're getting Nisa on stage, the second award is for acceptable contribution in support. And that goes to Ms. Nicole van Gesselen, who uh, is not with us today. But she did. Uh, she took over the job of subject chair in a very difficult time in Mafikin campus, and we thank her for that. But on the stage with me right now, I have Ms. Nisa Ayuk, who was uh, nominated by her peers as the person with an acceptable contribution to teaching and learning. She got exceptional feedback from the students, and to you, Nisa, thank you very much for your effort this year. Thank you, Prof. Great. That's the Mafeking campus done. We can now move on to the Potterstrom campus. So the school's a bit bigger on the Potterstrom campus. As you can see, there's just an awful lot of people here. So <clears throat> I'm going to call them up one by one. Uh, first of all, I'm going to ask for Leandre, Leandre Kruger to join. And... Uh, Yeah. So Leandri has been nominated and awarded the, the prize for exceptional teaching and learning uh, in a geography and environmental sciences on the Potterstrom campus. Leandri, thanks for your contribution. Leandri works in the uh, uh, ACDS and uh, I mean your help is uh, really appreciated and goes above and beyond. So thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you, Next up, we're going to go to geology and soil science. <clears throat> and we have two people in this uh, category of teaching and learning. The first is Ms. Sasha Rupa, and the second person is Mr. Richard Bonuskans. I think we can only take them one at a time. I I think. So coming, right, coming up is we've got Richard. So let me tell you, I mean, this year we had a, a tough year. I mean, uh, in terms of practicals was a nightmare. Imagine giving uh, soil science practicals and geology practicals over the internet. Um, the staff members that have been nominated made an exceptional effort to get all their uh, lectures live and on with video and, and sound. 
And so thank you to you, Rico, as well as taking on jobs that they weren't assigned. And so thank you to you, Rico, for your, uh, and we acknowledge your, your, your um, help during this tough thank year. You. Next, person, next person is Ms. Sasha Rupa. Okay, so I don't know if Sasha is with us. She was. I went, I went through the participants list. It looked like she was here. But uh, in the meantime, let me just say that uh, during the year, as I said, moving the stuff over to the virtual environment, I mean, this is not, of course, unique to our school, uh, but Sasha played a very important role, also helped to pick up uh, where uh, things were falling apart at some stage and make sure that the students uh, were delivered uh, exceptional uh, teaching and learning experience online. And Sasha, we thank you uh, very much for that contribution. If she's not coming up on the stage, I'm gonna move on into urban and regional planning. And, um, and can I ask that we bring up Louis Latifan, Mr. Louis Latifan. Louis, there you go. Uh, thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, urban and regional planning, again, a subject that is uh, tougher to teach online. And uh, I think uh, you managed to do a fabulous job with great feedback. And so thank you for your contribution. Thank this you. Year. Thank you. Okay, we're going to move on now to uh, the next category. I was just... Uh, uh, <clears throat> which is the category for exceptional service delivery and support in the school of geospatial science so probably the two most difficult individuals in the school have been nominated and awarded this prize and so um rulof berger who i think is actually in the meeting now and just threatened me with death if i called him up on stage but i'm going to anyway um and so <clears throat> Let me just say that Rulof's contribution is, uh, I mean, he's basically always willing to help everybody or anybody. And uh, in particular this year, he's the guy that really turned around the ethics process within the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Science. And so Rulof, thank you very much for your contribution. You not only made a big difference to the faculty, but we're proud to have you in our school. Maybe the question is if if there's any maybe. information in the um, either at, at national or the local governments around trends in these that we have to incorporate in our scenarios. Okay, so we go. We're going to tell Rulof. <laughs> Rulof is in a different meeting. <laughs> Uh, very smart, I told you he was the most difficult guy in the school. All right, next guy to come up would be uh, Professor Dierholt uh, van Nika, who um, has made a really massive contribution to the university, and I think also beyond the university, in uh, the COVID response, and has sat on endless meetings for the university uh, to try to make sure that we're safe and there we have Devolt, and uh, to you, Devolt, I say thank you again, representing the school in a fantastic way. Devolt just was awarded a BT rating for the NRF, also well deserved, and uh, thank you for your contribution to the school. Thank you very much. Thanks, Devolt. Devolt, for the first time in my life, looked shy. Okay, so next person up is uh, Mr. Ruan Gagiano. So let me tell you about Ruan. Ruan kind of joined the, the school at a time when we were just about to shut down and uh, go home. And what that meant was that there had to be somebody on campus uh, really helping the students with really tough soil science practice and getting stuff ready for them and making sure that there was online material. And so Ruan, uh, you came into the school at a difficult time. You really stepped up to the plate and thank you uh, for that. Thanks, Prof. Good. And now you'll be glad to know that I've only got one more campus left. Um, and on this, uh, we move to the Funnabell Park campus.
And on the Fire and the Bale Park campus, we have a nomination of uh, one individual, and uh, that is for exceptional uh, contributions in teaching and learning. And uh, that prize was, uh, was given to Mr. Donnie Boshoff, who is not with us today. And so, Kepia, I can hand back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Professor P. Kith. Do I have it now? Uh, Professor Stewart, thank you so much uh, for that presentation. And a special word of thank you uh, to Professor Rulof Berger for the comic relief, uh, who gave us a bit of a, a fright, but then we realized what he was up to. Thank you so much to the School for Geo and Spatial uh, Sciences. Really appreciate it. All right, next up, the School for Computer Science and Information Systems. And uh, here I'm going to ask Mrs. Sunay van der Linde uh, to please come and present the awards and to join me on, on stage. Uh, it seems Professor Estelle Taylor uh, wasn't able to join us, but we're happy to see uh, Mrs. van der Linde here on stage. Over to you. Good afternoon, colleagues. Um, I would like to thank the organizers for this wonderful opportunity to thank our staff for their hard work. I present the following awards for the School of Computer Science and Information Systems, starting with the Muffy King campus. I would like to call on Prof. Michael Isafire to join me on stage, please. I'm not sure if he's on today. According to me, he joined the event, um, but I will continue. We would like to thank Prof. Michael for making an exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning in the of additional effort within the school and mentorship of staff. I now move on to the second award. I would like to call Dr. Francis Lugaisi to join me on stage. Uh, hello, Dr. Francis. Um, we would like to thank you for your exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services within the school. The School of um, CS and IS on the My King campus does not have admin support. And although uh, Dr. Logaizi is an academic staff member, he always helps and assists with administrative tasks. We thank you for your major contribution within the school. I appreciate that word. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I will now move on to the Swim campus. I would like to call on Mrs. Linda Redlingheim to join me on stage. Hi, Linda. Sure. Linda, we would like to thank you for your exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning in the subject group. You always assist willingly and with a smile. And this year, you even took on the responsibility of an additional module to help out. And we thank you. Thank you, Sinai. <laughs> For the next award, we would like to acknowledge Mr. Dirk Snyman in absentia for his exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services in the school. He gladly took on additional responsibilities to support the school, like managing the honor selection process, even though he's only an academic staff member. Thank you, Dirk. Oh, sorry, Dirk, I see you joined us. <laughs> I apologize. Thank you. Thank you very much for all your hard work and your willingness to help. Um, I will now move to the Vault Triangle campus. 
I would like to call on Mr. Lawrence Bunt to join me on stage. Hi, Lance. Hello. <laughs> Lance, um, thank you for your exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning. You, you were involved in so many exciting initiatives, um, like changing to modules such as CMPG 214, the development of various marketing, marketing material for the school, and your assistance with the changes in the module WVNS. Thank you for your contribution. It's only a pleasure. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Up next, we call on Dr. Katie Anderson Rinsler to join me on stage. Hi, Katie. Hello. <laughs> Uh, JT, we would like to thank you for your exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services within the school. You make various contributions, including arranging the annual Geekspo, arranging a successful virtual IT seminar during lockdown, and for your collaboration with industry. We value your contribution to the school. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so this concludes all the awards for the School of Computer Systems, <laughs> Computer Science and Information Systems. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sunay. You've done an incredible job. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing so many things uh, happening for the first time in 2020. So for the first time, you've seen a presenter on a virtual conference uh, and, a, and a virtual platform being surprised by a, a virtual person. So uh, thank you, Dirk, for giving us that wonderful new experience and also to Sine. Right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, the School for Mathematical and Statistical Sciences. I'd like to call on Professor David Kubai uh, to come and join me on stage. Professor David will be uh, the person handing over all the awards uh, within this School for Mathematical and statistical sciences. Professor Kubai, over to you. Thank you, GP. Um, I'll start uh, in my game for exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning. The award goes to Dr. Rodrigue A.V. Pika Masoko. Uh, could you join me on the virtual stage, please? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mpiga Masuku. Uh, historically, we have always struggled with, especially with the teaching of pure maths on that campus, but your presence has made a huge difference. Thank well you. done. Thanks, Roy. Thank you. I'm still in my game for exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services. Uh, this goes to Dr. Lifokonolo Muleleki. Uh, Dr. Mleleke, if you are with us, come on the virtual stage, please. Yeah. Uh, well done, sir. Keep <laughs> working very hard. Uh, we, we value your, your comeback. You ran away and came back to us. Uh, you did very well. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Prof. Uh, next is the purchase from campus. Uh, for exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning in mathematics in absentia is Dr. Antonetta Fenter, who is actually retiring at the end of this year. And in statistics is Mrs. Erka Slaben. Erka, if you are with us, please join on the virtual stage. Okay, I don't see any movement. Oh, she's here. I'm here. Hello. Hi, Erica. Well done. Uh, teaching maths and mathematical statistics on the virtual platform is double challenging. Thank you for your all, all your hard work. Uh, continue working very hard and making us proud. Thanks so much, Prof. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
And for exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services, uh, we have two people. One is in absentia, that is Professor James Allison, and also Dr. Mariette who is supposed to be with us. Maria, if you are with us, please come on the virtual stage. I'm here. Uh, hi, thank you, Maria. Uh, for those who don't know, this is the phase of the refresher course. This is the phase of MES triple one and one to one. This is the brains behind our, our big first year modules. Uh, well done, uh, Maria, for all your hard work and. And, and I know more is coming your way in 2021, but we are confident that you'll handle it. Well done. Thank you, David. And then off to the Thunder Bale campus. Please note the program says Val campus. We no longer have Val campus in this university. It's Thunder Bale Park campus. For exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning in mathematics, it's someone who's going to say goodbye to us at the end of this year. This is Mrs. Elna van der Melbe. Uh, after a long, long service, uh, I think plus or minus 44 years, uh, nine years with MWU. Elna, it was a joy working with you. Uh, thank you for all the hard work you have done in the extended program and the service margins. And may you have a blessed, you. blessed retirement. Thank you, Prof. Thank you. Thank you. And for teaching and learning in statistics, uh, we have uh, Mrs. Velma Kutsi. Velma, if you are with us, please come on the virtual stage. Hi, Velma. Uh, uh, this is someone who's very passionate about teaching, uh, teaching statistics or mathematical statistics. Well done, uh, Velma. Keep working very hard. We, we, we value your presence. You are one of the uh, cornerstones of, of, of our school on the Thunder Bale Park campus. Thank you very much, Prof. Thank you. And finally, uh, someone who basically is the backbone of our school on the Van der Park campus for exceptional contribution in terms of service, service delivery. Our school is where it is today uh, because of Mrs. Luzanne Lawrence. Uh, she's doing fantastic work there. Uh, Luzanne, if you are with us, please come on the virtual stage. Hi, Prof, can you hear me? I can hear you and see you. Uh, uh, thank you very much for all your hard work. You are the backbone of the school and the Thunder Belper campus. Without you, our school wouldn't be what it is today. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you very much for, for the acknowledgement. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care of that little one. I will. <laughs> Uh, that concludes the presentation from the School of Mathematical and Statistical Sciences. I'm going back to Houten, GP. <laughs> thank you, Professor Kubai, and uh, thank you so much. That was very special. That was the uh, School for Mathematical and Statistical Sciences. Right, our next school is the School for Agricultural Sciences, and I'm going to ask Dr. Lebo Motze to uh, join me on stage. Dr. Lebu, if you please. Uh, and this is for the School of Agricultural Sciences. There we go. Thank you, Dr. Lebu. Uh, thank you very much, GP. Um, uh, colleagues, um, let me uh, present the uh, categories for exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning in the subject group. So colleagues, you will recall that we do have four programs in the School of Agricultural Sciences, which is Agricultural Economics and Extension, Animal Health, Animal Science, and Crop Sciences. So I would like to call on stage uh, Dr. Sina Mudira to accept her award. Dr. Mudira, are you around? I saw your name earlier on. Sina? 
Ah, okay. It looks as if uh, she's having difficulty in approaching the stage, but I will uh, then accept uh, this award on her behalf. Dr. Sina uh, has exceptionally, you know, contributed very well in teaching and learning, helping in all aspects of teaching and learning, always available to help. Um, even in times of lockdown, you know, you will call her, she will come and try, you know, to help put documents in order. And uh, even during that time where programs were needed for, for reintegration uh, for online learning. So, uh, Dr. Modirwa, we really appreciate uh, the hard work that you, you, you have, you know, uh, 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 contributed in the school. And we even encourage you to work even more harder to exceed expectations. So thank you very much for that. And the next one for exceptional contribution in terms of teaching and learning in the subject group animal health is Mr. Tato Morani. Tato. Okay, I think I will also accept this one on, on his behalf, but I have seen his name also uh, in the list. Um, uh, colleagues, you may recall that Mr. Morwani is a clinic technician in the small animal clinic, and the school would like to, you know, uh, appreciate what he's doing there. I'm sure you have seen his face working with students in all university magazines and websites. And, you know, students are also happy, you know, working with him. And, uh, you know, even customers are very happy to bring their dogs and cats and snakes. And, uh, you know, he's always willing to work you know, outside the, the, the working hours. So we really appreciate what he's doing for, for, for the school, specifically under the animal health uh, program. Okay, um, the next award will go to Prof. Upenyu Marume. He's also there uh, on the list of participants. Prof. Prof. Marume, can you approach the, the stage, please? Ah, there you are. <laughs> okay, uh, colleagues, Prof. Upenyu Marume is the chairperson of the Ethics Committee uh, 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 in the school, uh, which is named the Animal Prod Ethics Committee. And the school will like to, you know, appreciate uh, 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 his contribution in, in uh, teaching and learning. He's also carrying a lot of modules and uh, he's also helping, you know, the, the, the farm to, 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 to be where it is now in terms of planning and drafting of proposals and all the stuff. So Prof. Marume would like to uh, appreciate your contribution and uh, you know we encourage you to work even harder thank you thank you very much the next one colleagues is uh prof eric sebeta i didn't see him uh, on the list of participants uh, colleagues prof eric sebeta was the, our previous school research committee chairperson and uh, also carrying a lot of uh, modules in the school in times when we were unable to make appointments, you know, for agronomy and soil science. Prof. Sebeta was always there and willing to carry all that load. So the school also wishes to, you know, appreciate what he's, uh, he has been doing uh, for the crop science agronomy uh, program. And the last category is exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery, support services in the School of Agricultural Sciences. Uh, Mr. Johannes Belling, who is also in absentia. Mr. Belling is a general worker in the director's office. He's the one who is doing all this dirty work, you know, making sure that students are okay with their research, you know, willing to go to the farm, collect their materials and do all the stuff on top of what we uh, have uh, uh, assigned him to do. So, Mr. Johannes Belling, the school wishes to appreciate your contribution and uh, would like to present that award to you in absentia. 
So thank you very much. That uh, should conclude my presentation for the awards for the School of Agricultural Sciences. Thank you, JP. Thank you, Dr. Mute. It's a job well done. Thank you so much. All right, next up, uh, I'd like to uh, ask the, the gentleman, Dr. Moteo Koitsiwe, to join me on stage. Now, uh, Dr. Koitsiwe is from the Indigenous Knowledge Systems Center. And I know he always does uh, wonderful work. So, Dr. Moteo, uh, we are in your hands. And if you'd like to, you can please join me on stage to come and present all the awards. Hey, it's nice to see you again. Dumelang, uh, um, good afternoon. Masikati, Masikati. Uh, from the IKS Center, uh, without a waste of time, I would like to introduce the nomination and the awards of um, exceptional contribution in terms of uh, teaching and learning. I would like to welcome Ndate Re Munaruri Girazahae. He's also the co coordinator of community engagement at the IK Center, but he has done very well during um, COVID-19 online teaching and learning. And also, he also has a very good uh, relationship uh, with the students. And uh, uh, he was also very active uh, during uh, the continuous uh, assessment. Tate Monaruri, I would like to thank you from the IK Center for your exceptional contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Koitsiwe. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the second um, category is on the exceptional contribution in terms of uh, service delivery and uh, support services. Uh, we have uh, Mayor Salvation Tumane. Uh, she actually has always been supportive to the staff at the IKS Center, including because we also work uh, with indigenous knowledge holders and practitioners and uh, stakeholders like Department of Science and Innovation. She has also been very active to assist us um, because at the center we're working on the IK Act uh, public awareness campaign and the cultural community protocols. She has been very supportive. Uh, uh, at the IKS Center. Mel Dumani, I uh, would like to thank you at the IKS Center for your exceptional contribution. And uh, I would like to thank you, Madam. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then thank you, uh, Program Director. I would like to give uh, the opportunity back to you. Reale Boja. Reale Boja, Dr. Mateo. And, uh, uh, all the best for the work that you do as well. Thank you for what you've done this afternoon. Right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we're moving on to the Center for Applied Radiation Science and Technology. And the presenter that I'd like to call on stage here is Professor Victor Chivase. Uh, Professor Victor, you can join us and uh, present the awards for the Center for Applied Radiation Science and technology. Thank you, Program Director. From the Center for Applied Radiation Science and Technology, we would like to present two awards. Before I present the first one, I will kindly ask uh, Professor Matutu to join us on the virtual stage. Are you, I saw him earlier. He's still struggling to walk up the stairs. Um, yes, Prof. Yes. Yeah, there you are. Uh, Professor Matutu, there, this award goes to Professor Matutu, a member of CAST, who among other things, consistently raised funds so that teaching and learning can run smoothly. Professor Matutu, congratulations. Well done in uh, uh, getting this award. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Joseph. We appreciate it much. Thank you. The next award 
Before I present the next award, I will uh, kindly ask Ms. Monde Kakula to join us on the visual stage. Um, I hope you are not struggling to go down the stairs because Professor Matu was struggling to go up the stairs. Maybe you are struggling to, to go up down the stairs. Are you there? If you are not, I will uh, accept this award on her behalf. Uh, Monde, Miss Monde Kakula is a pillar of the center without whom the center could not function. Um, I will congratulate her. Uh, in a absence. Thank you. Thank you, Program Director. Thank you so much, uh, Professor, and thank you for the work that you've done here, and also for introducing uh, stairs to this uh, yeah. virtual event. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next uh, 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 person to present is Professor Rian de Jong. I'm going to ask Professor De Jong to join me on stage uh, to present the awards in the Centre for Business, Mathematics and Informatics. Professor Rian De Jong, we are in your hands, Prof. Prof. Thank you. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies. Um, I must say I'm very impressed with your suit uh, and I'm also exacerbated by the exuberance of your verbosity. First, uh, please call up Janet Lani. She is the winner um, of the teaching award. Uh, and Janet, uh, this envelope is quite fat here. Uh, it must be some, some significant award. Um, I'm going to present it to you for your work uh, as, as accreditation actuary of the Center for BMI for keeping our standing with a professional society intact, uh, which was quite a difficult one because they expect invigilated exams. And despite COVID, Janet managed to do that. Well done. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Here's Thank your you, Prof. Envelope. <laughs> I'm looking for and thank you for the privilege to actually learn from the best. Okay, next one is uh, Mr. Thijs Kronier. If you can come to the stage, please. The award is for support. Um, now, Thijs is an exceptional uh, supporter during COVID. He constructed the database for us. I could ask Thijs anything about 587 students currently enrolled. Uh, he would tell me this guy got data on this date. Uh, his PC was delivered on this date. Uh, and um, anything else I wanted uh, information on some of the surveys we did, Thais did that. Uh, and he was really a stalwart during this period. So Thais, wonderful work. Thank you very much. Kim to me, your uh, envelope is just as, as thick as uh, the next. So congratulations. He speaks, but, he calls, but no one hears him, so I'll ask you to call up the Alpha Thank you. Now, the Alpha Rovenheimer gets the research award. Um, and um, the award um, has been given to him for actually developing a mathematical based system on operational risk that is currently running in two banks in Investec and also in EPSA. Uh, and that is no mean feat. I don't know of very many mathematical systems uh, developed by professors at universities that run at banks. So, Elgaard, this that's why your envelope is even thicker and fatter. Uh, and well done. So, here is the envelope. Yeah, thank you, Prof. Rian. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Then I'm done. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Rian de Jong. Thank you for all those fat envelopes that you've handed out 
Really appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, have now concluded the first part of our program for the afternoon. That was, of course, for undergraduate schools and centers. And we'd like to provide you with some entertainment now. Uh, we, uh, we had a few options. Uh, first of all, we asked Dr. Matteo uh, to present us with a dance, but he is suffering from a hamstring injury. We also asked Professor Francois Retief uh, to come and sing for us, but he had a huge performance uh, 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 at a major event virtually uh, last night, and his voice has as yet not recovered. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we decided on bringing you entertainment by Christu Fenter, uh, and the entertainment is provided on the piano. In Ladies and gentlemen, what shall I say? If you see the man again, uh, you'll have to congratulate him on that performance and engage with him a little bit more on uh, how he does it. That was beautiful. Yes, I said Christu Fenter. You would know him as, as Professor uh, Christu Fenter. Professor, thank you so much for that wonderful performance. From what I hear, uh, they wanted someone from the faculty to perform and you did it. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to part two of our awards program. And uh, now we're going to focus on research in uh, entities and uh, deanery awards. Uh, our first presenter is Professor Chris Forster. And uh, this is uh, for the Center of Human Metabolomics. Uh, Professor Forster, we are in your hands. Thank you, Gepje. This time I'm back to actually hand out some awards and not receive on behalf of somebody else. Um, while I talk, we can perhaps call Mr. Dierwald Kuhn to the stage. Um, I think everybody has had their challenges during the COVID crisis to offer essential diagnostic services to rare disease patients during a time when the minister ordered universities to close down was certainly a challenge, but many people actually stepped up um, and ensured that we were able to still offer the service and ensure that our patients remain safe. Um, and in many ways, well, well, let's rather just say that many people, almost all people within the center actually deserves to be recognized. However, I would like to recognize uh, Dierwald. Dierwald, thank you for your hard work during the COVID crisis and especially for being present most of the time during a time when everybody was really scared out of their pants um, of the virus. So thank you very much for that. You played a great part in ensuring that we were able to continue to deliver the services that is required from us. Thank you very much. Okay, and then I would like to um, call Ilse de Priya to the stage. Uh, so, yeah, while we wait for, um, we had to reshuffle many functions, many people had to step up, do things that they don't normally do. Um, and Ilza was one of these uh, people. Uh, Ilza, we were sitting at the same table, so you have to be here. <laughs> um, in any way, perhaps if she's then not going to make it, um, then I would just like to say, Ilza, thank you very much for ensuring that um, both commercially and academically um, for the part that you played in ensuring that we had a very successful 2020. I thank you for that and I um, wish to acknowledge you in this way. Um, and I also like to thank all of the other staff at the Center for Human Metabolomics for the great way in which you handled the, the 2020 crisis. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Chris. It uh, was nice hearing from you and thank you for presenting those awards. Now, ladies and gentlemen, he has recovered from his musical performance and now he is here to present a few awards. I'm speaking of Professor Chris Fenter and he's going to awards for the Center for Space Research. Professor, we are in your hands. 
Thank you very much, Khirpia. Yes, we're moving from the musical space to the actual space. Uh, so all where the stars lie. And we also have some stars in our midst, people that really helped pitch in during this very difficult year. So it was difficult to uh, select only two, but let me in absentia award two prizes. The first is for the category exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services. <clears throat> But in the center, and this goes to Mr. Lendl Fransman. Now, Mr. Fransman is the administrator of the National Astrophysics and Space Science Program, or NASP, as we like to call it, and he's always ready to help. He really ensures smooth operations and he's there to supply also technical assistance. He's working with the bursaries of the students and the postdocs. And in the last two months, he had to learn many new things um, since. Um, Pietro Sibrach and now retired, and so he's taking on some new tasks. And I really want to commend him for his very good attitude in helping us with all the little details and keeping the ship going. That's the spaceship I'm referring to. And then also um, I want to award for the second category for exceptional contribution in terms of research and development in the center, Prof. Stefan Ferreira. So he took over from Prof. Audrey Berger as the new NASP director and specifically in terms of research capacity, is making a huge contribution since this NASP node that we host here at Northwest University spans two campuses. And we can really see the impact of attracting external funding and funding students on both campuses to come and study with us and to learn about space research and space science. So he's also doing his part in, in getting student bursaries and just growing the field and I would really like to commend him also for his hard work and um, just we know that we're in safe hands also under his directorship for this NASP um, node. Thank you very much, Geer Pia. Thank you, Professor. Really appreciate it. And uh, once again, thank you for that musical performance as well. It's nice to, see, to uh, share some space with you. I'll say at a space joke. Ladies and gentlemen, our next presenter is Professor Ulubakula uh, Babalola. Professor Babalola, it's, uh, it'll be nice to see you again. Please come and join me on stage. This is, of course, for the niche area for food safety and, secur uh, and security. Professor Babalola, nice to see you again. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I would like to call on Ms. Fone Podili to the stage. Ms. Fone Podili, thank you. Phone. Yeah. <laughs> Ms. Fone Podili, I uh, would like to thank you for your exceptional support to the niche area of food security and safety. You accepted to take additional responsibility, extra workload from the food security and safety. Despite your move to Salah, we value your contribution to the university and we just want to say a very big thank you for your support during this year and then always. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prof. Much appreciated. You are welcome. I will also like to call on um, Professor Collins Ateba to come to the stage, please. Professor Ateba. Thank you, Prof. Professor Ateba is a big cornerstone to the food security and safety niche area. He is a go-getter when it comes to research. He is a brilliant, jolly fellow and very dynamic. Professor Ateba is worthy of all emulation without minding world. He graduated honor student, master student, PhD student, and COVID-19 could not stop his lab from operating. The aspects that Professor Ateba is contributing to food security and safety makes food security and safety to still stand today. 
Prof, uh, in a very small way as it may be, you are well appreciated. Thank you for your support to food security and safety. And I, at this point, also want to thank everyone in food security and safety. But you know, only one person could get this prize. Thank you, Professor Ateba. Thank you, Prof. Much appreciated. Thank you. This concludes the award from Food Security and Safety. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Babalola, and uh, for all the uh, all the work that you do, and for those two awards that you've presented this afternoon. Right. Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, the focus area for material science, innovation, and modeling. And uh, here we uh, we have me to present the award. And it goes for exceptional contribution in terms of research and development in the focus area. Uh, unfortunately, our, our uh, nominee can't be here with us uh, this afternoon. So we would just like to congratulate Professor Ino Abenzo uh, uh, for uh, receiving this award in absentia. And that was the area for material science innovation and modeling. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, the unit uh, for business mathematics and informatics. And here I'm going to call on Professor Philip Machele to come and uh, present uh, the award here. Professor Philip, if you'd come to the stage, please. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, the program uh, chair. <clears throat> Uh, for my part, I would like to present to you uh, Professor Sani Trehorst for category of exceptional contribution in terms of research and development in the unit. Uh, if he's available, can he join the stage, please? So it seems Prof. Sani is not here. Or so if it's not here, then uh, what I'll do, I'll accept the, the award. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems as if uh, Professor Philip uh, received the award and uh, abruptly... Uh, oh, here he is back again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you so, received the award and then some, somehow fell off the stage. Oh, <laughs> maybe I was too drunk. <laughs> 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 so anyway, uh, I would like to present the, uh, the award to Prosane, the host. Uh, it seems he's not here, so I'll, uh, I'll take the, the award on, on his behalf. And he has done a great job. He has, he has produced some uh, two PhD students and also published some couple of papers in high impact journals. Uh, back to you, GP. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Philip. Thank you for, uh, for that part in our program. Next up, the Unit for Environmental Sciences and Management. And I'm going to call Professor Carl uh, to the stage to come and present uh, a few awards uh, within this unit. Professor Carlos Besaidnant. Uh, Professor Carlos, you must just watch for that section where the stage gave in on Professor Philip uh, so that you steer away from that part. But it looks as if you're on a safe part of it now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Hiapia. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, colleagues. Um, I would like from the onset to declare that um, there is an excellent team of administrators and researchers within the Unit for Environmental Sciences and Management. So um, we were spoiled for choice. All staff within the unit would have been worthy recipients of uh, these awards. But two uh, individuals were flagged for the awards. Uh, the first one I call on uh, Corinne van der Merwe uh, for the award for service delivery. Hello, Prof. Good morning, Corinne. Okay. Um, 
Ladies and gentlemen, Corinne um, is responsible for the administration of our taught master students. It's a, a, a very large group with three specialities. Uh, she's keeping a tight record of the entire program, and that is ensuring that people get to the to the various uh, contact sessions on time. Um, with the moving over to uh, online teaching, she was responsible for ensuring that um, those arrangements were made. Um, what also struck uh, me this year is that uh, she ensured that all students within uh, this program, as well as supervisors, could provide their progress reports on time. Uh, furthermore, Corinne is also responsible for ensuring that uh, our HR documents uh, are correctly filled out, and uh, she had more than 340 appointments made this year. So, Corinne, from our side, the work that you are doing is appreciated. Keep up the good work to you, as well as the colleagues and the support that you're providing there. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you, Prof. Hi, thank you, Prof. So, uh, next I'd like to call uh, Prof. Francois Ratif for the Award for Research and Development. Um, I saw Prof. Francois earlier on, so, but in any case, let me start out with it. Uh, there we go. Professor uh, Francois Ratif uh, received a lifetime award from the International Association for Impact Assessors for his contribution uh, to this important field uh, locally, uh, that is at the NWU, but also internationally. So thank you very much for the contribution that you are making uh, within this field. Also, he's playing an enormous leadership role uh, with the staff um, within this master's, thought master's, as well as uh, one of the sub-programs. Um, two of the individuals uh, within this has also graduated with uh, PhDs this year, and he was supervisor uh, or promoted to those. There's also a large number of master's students that graduated. He contributed to more than 15 uh, peer-reviewed articles, more than 16 book chapters. Uh, so thank you, Francois, for your excellent contribution that you're making uh, towards uh, this particular field. Um, and with that, I'd also like to thank all the researchers within the Unit of Environmental Sciences for their contributions. And that concludes the awards from the Unit for Environmental Sciences and Management. Thank you, Pierre Pierre. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Really appreciate. You. Really appreciate. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on to uh, a relatively new research entity, the focus area for pure and applied analytics. And here, I'd like to call on Professor Louis Labuschagne to come and join me on stage to present the awards. Professor Louis Labuschagne, to the stage, please. Okay. Hi. Thank you for um, uh, this opportunity to recognize some people in our uh, new entity, as you mentioned. Uh, the first award, which is now, I need to remind myself of the nomenclature for exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery uh, or support services in the focus area, uh, goes to Monique van Deventer. Now, anybody who knows Monique will know that uh, because of her, we don't have to have a lot of institutional knowledge or a lot of admin knowledge. Because of her, I don't have to have reams and reams of documents on my shelf with phone numbers of people and protocols that need to be followed. Because if I want to know a phone number, I just ask her and if she doesn't know within a day, she'll find out. Uh, if I want to know how to do anything, then you can just ask her and she'll find out how to do it and tell you. So, Mani, please. Afternoon, Prof. 
All right. Um, it's a great pleasure to have you here, um, just as a token of our appreciation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. So, um, it's, yeah, your services are very valuable. Okay, the next person I would like to call up to the stage is uh, Dr. Jakub Fasaghi. Now, he was at Northwest University, then he went to Pretoria, then he came back to Northwest University, and we're very glad to have him. He had a really remarkable record this year, not just uh, as far as papers are concerned, uh, papers being published, but also graduate students being delivered and also academic citizenship. So it, it really uh, is a very good example of a well-rounded, all-round researcher, and it is a great pleasure to give this award to him. Thank Over you to so you, Jakub. Thank you so very much, Professor. I really appreciate it. It's a privilege to have you in the entity. Thank you so much. Okay. Professor Robert Cockney, thank you so much and uh, good luck for the future with this uh, relatively new entity. I hope it all goes well and uh, success on success. Thank you, Professor Louis Lovis Cockney. That was the focus area for pure and applied analytics. We're moving on to uh, the focus area for chemical resource benefic beneficiation, uh, and I'd like to call on Professor Henning Krieg to uh, come and present the awards here. Professor Henning. Thank you, Pierre. Um, yes, on behalf of Professor Forsler, the director of the focus area for chemical research beneficiation, I would like to call Estelle Stoppel for the exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery. Estelle, if you can join us on stage. Um, hi, Estelle. Hello, Prof. Enang. Um, yes, Estelle, in spite of all the months of home office, you were able to maintain the smooth operation of the entity. You were always helpful, diligently providing assistance to both staff and students. So thank you for that. Thank you for your commitment and enthusiasm this year and for keeping everything together under such trying circumstances. Thank you, Estelle. Thank you, Prof. Henning. Much appreciated. All right, and then in the category contribution in terms of research and development, I would like to ask Prof. Paul Birkas to join us on stage. Professor Paul, are you there? Yes, there you are. Hi, Paul. Klani, Klani. Paul, for your um, amazing contribution academically, uh, you were prolific this year again with your output. Um, as we heard now all, so you got this amazing NIF rating. Congratulations on that as well. You also in this year secured the Biogrip project, which will run for a couple of years. So I think it's well deserved that you receive this award this year from our focus area. Paul, Paul, I want to add, because you are leaving us next year, I would also like to use this opportunity to for the many years of consistent excellence and positivity you have contributed to our entity and the university. I'm convinced you will make a similar success of your future endeavor for which you will we wish you all the best. So thank you again, Paul, and go well. Thanks, Henning. Thanks, everyone. Have a blessed day. That concludes my part. Thank you, GP. Over to you again. Thank you, Professor Henning. It was uh, well done. Uh, that was the focus area for chemical resource beneficiation. Our next uh, focus area is the focus area for human metabolomics. And uh, I'd like to call on Professor de Toy Lewitt to come and present the awards within this uh, uh, focus area. So, Professor Lewitt, if you can make it to the stage. Thank you, Professor. Nice to see you again.
Thank you, Hirpe. Nice to see you too. Um, so I think the first candidate I'd like to ask to join us, Mr. Raymond van Blaak. I did see him uh, in the audience here. Yeah? Raymond, if you'd mind joining us on stage, please. Hi, Raymond. <laughs> So I'd just like to thank you, Raymond, um, for your contribution again this year. Um, you've made yourself totally indispensable in terms of not only doing an excellent job in your financial planning, but also those additional admin tasks um, in both the school and the focus area and the centre, um, and also in the acquisition of our, our funds in our third stream initiatives. Um, I didn't get to see much of you this year, but uh, nonetheless, um, I did see the work getting done, getting done very efficiently, and um, myself and Chris and Francois are very appreciative of your, your, uh, your help. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prof. Great. Okay, so the, the next person um, is a support staff member, but she has contributed exceptionally to research and development in the focus area. Um, I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Marie van Rienen Rien to the stage, please. Rienen will be able to join us. Uh, Professor, she was here earlier. I did say yeah. hello, so I don't know if there was an emergency that she had to leave. Uh, from what I hear, she won't be able to join us now. Okay, no problem. So Marie, um, she's our in our statistician, um, but I've realised in the years that I've been involved um, with her in terms of her academic contributions and her support contributions that she's not only one of the best statisticians I know, but she's turning out to be one of the best biochemists I know as well. So um, she plays an integrated role in, uh, in support um, in the research entity in our very complicated stats that we, that we need. Um, and so much so that she actually managed to contribute to eight publications this year. Um, so for a support staff member, um, this is an outstanding achievement, and uh, from the from the research entity side, I'd like to thank her for this exceptional contribution to our research outputs. Thank you, Marie. And that's it. Gepia, uh, back to you. Uh, I think I'm back. Oh, there we are. I was just struggling to, to find the stage, Professor Lewis. Terribly sorry. I got lost. <laughs> but now I'm found. All right. Thank you, on stage. thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Professor uh, de Toy Lewis, uh, for your contribution to our program. Our next category is uh, the category instrument uh, making. And here I'd like to uh, present. Uh, uh, to Mr. Trevor van Niekerk. Mr. Trevor van Niekerk, if you'd be so kind to join me on stage. Mr. van Niekerk, we, we had a few different objects to present to you. We, we, we had a, a table clock here, but we decided against it. We had a face mark that it's been used. Uh, and then none of that came even close to the, the award that says exceptional contribution in terms of service delivery and support services uh, in the department. And this is for instrument making. Uh, Mr. Trevor van Niekerk, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you, Gipe. 
All right. Ladies and gentlemen, our next uh, uh, award is a research award. And I'd like to call on Professor David Isabire to uh, come and present this award. Professor Isabire, if you'd be so kind to join me on stage. And then uh, you can hand over this research award. There we go. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Program Director. Uh, I would like to call to join us on stage uh, Professor Damien Onutiwe. Professor Odemen Chinedu Onutiwe to join us on stage. Yeah, thank you. Professor Nutiwe, I thought you deserved this uh, award for exceptional contribution in terms of research and development for a researcher outside the uh, research entities. It was not easy because uh, a number of people came up and at the same time, I had to take into account quite a number of things. I had to look at the publications in high impact journals. I'd look at any conferences you might have attended. It was difficult this year for conferences because of the COVID restrictions, research workshops, I'd look at your NRF rating, and the number of postgraduate students that you had. You have quite a number of PhD students, master's students, honor students, and you seem to have this exceptional quality of being a hands-on person. You are always chasing students up and down to make sure that they get work done. And also the number of postdocs that you, you have in your group, the external research grants that you might have got, and also the research awards, which we sometimes tend to sweep under the floor. So for all of these, you excelled, and I felt that you deserved this award. Thank you very much, Professor Onodiwe. Thank you very much, Prof. Yeah, I hope that this will act as a positive catalyst to even greater performance in the years to come. This concludes my presentation. Thank you, Professor David. We really appreciate your contribution to our program. Right, uh, we're moving on to our next research award, and I'd like to call on Professor Gilbert Grunewald to on stage to hand over uh, this award. Professor Grunewald. Uh, thank you, GP. Um, so I wish to grant this award for exceptional contribution in terms of research and development in the faculty to Professor Olu Bukola Babalola. This award is really this award is really a culmination of, of, of eight years of intensive work. Over a period of eight years, she has been consistently high um, in terms of her research productivity. Um, the, the second four years of this eight-year period from 2017 to 2020 was, was even more productive than the first four years from 2013 to 2016. And in this year, 2020, it was um, really a golden year for her in terms of the high research productivity. Also for her uh, 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 research unit, food, food security and safety. For example, over this period, she produced 20 PhD students and 20 master students. And this year alone, she and her unit have produced at least 50 publications and still counting, and it may go up to 70 publications in this COVID year. In, in, in addition to that, um, she and and the researchers have uh, they've they've shifted their research to be to be more focused in depth research, and evidence of that is that the the unit 
received three new ratings this year. Prof. Babalola herself, Prof. Mwanza, and Prof. Nisi. And, and thirdly, um, they are on, on track to produce consistently good quality papers, whereas beforehand there might have been slight criticism that the papers are of variable quality. But I, I see that, that they're on track now to produce consistent quality all of the time. And then we must not forget that Prof. Balola um, basically built up this niche area from the ground up. And so she's the first director. So she's a pioneer in that sense. And she's also vice president for the Organization of Women in Science uh, globally for, for, for the continent of Africa. So for all of these things, I think Prof. Babalola is deserving. And I wish to thank her on behalf of the faculty for her work. She's still young. I wish her very well for the future. Thank you, Prof. Babalola. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. Thank you. Congratulations, Professor Babalola. And thank you to uh, Professor Grunewald. And thank you, GP. All right, uh, next uh, to the stage, Professor Tebe Medupe, if you'd be so kind to join me here uh, to, uh, uh, to award this next, how shall I call it, uh, a very special award, Professor Tebe Medupe. Usually, ladies and gentlemen, at an awards evening, we would have had uh, background music playing whilst the person approaches the stage, and we would all watch them walking uh, towards the stage. Now we can only guess. We have to rely on our imagination. Professor Tebe Medupe, are you there? No? We... Uh, uh, if uh, if you don't mind, if if I can act on Professor Medupe's uh, Medupe's behalf, and uh, perhaps announce uh, the winner of this award, this is uh, for a special contribution delivered in terms of community engagement uh, from the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences. So this goes for wonderful work in community engagement. And here we'd like to call to the stage Professor Rian de Jong. Professor Rian, if you'd like to join me on stage, please, so that we can just acknowledge you uh, for your work in community engagement. Thank Professor you. de Jong, here you are again, but this time. Yes. <laughs> Very good. A uh, wonderful, and, uh, a wonderful award. Uh, and Professor de Jong, uh, 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 I've heard from uh, top management that you do not need to stop at that glass. You may continue. Uh, I'll, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to Professor Rian de Jong. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, back at our executive dean. I'm going to ask Professor David Mudise. Uh, to come and present uh, the next few awards. Professor Mudise, if you'd be so kind uh, to come and join me on stage again. Um, could In my it's... imagination, uh, Professor Mudise, I heard the background music, I heard you moving, and it's nice to see you here on stage now. Thank you very much, GP. <laughs> I'm thrilled to recognize the following people for the faculty and dean's award. <clears throat> I'd like to call on stage um, Prof. Stuart Pickett, and would be followed by Prof. Estelle Taylor, and uh, the last one is Dr. Lebu Mutsei. <clears throat> Colleagues, um, Prof. Stuart Pickett was a revelation to me this year. Of course, you can even put in uh, Le Bumutze, all of them. Um, all these three colleagues were a revelation to me this year. And when we needed them most, 
um, during the COVID-19, that is when they actually raised their hands all the time. I'm sure they must be tired now of lifting their hands right to raising their hands, wanting to help, wanting to assist. Prof. Stewart um, was particularly useful in terms of, um, you know, he was almost acting like a, a, a deputy, deputy, you know, dean, because he was always available, even on weekends, on the phone, on the call. And um, I was really, really, really impressed during this COVID period. Estelle Taylor uh, did a lot of work to assist us with the survey of students. She was also available all the time. And, uh, you know, I made a, a very, very good presentation in one of the, you know, management committee meetings. And I got a lot of help from both uh, Prof. Stewart and uh, Prof. Estelle Taylor. And I didn't tell them that they helped me. I said, this is my presentation. But it was very good, I can tell you that. And um, the, Dr. Mutsei, you would also imagine that Dr. Mutsei is dealing with animals. And uh, throughout the period when people had gone uh, working from home, he was having sleepless nights, you know, taking care. When we say animals, he actually earlier on mentioned snakes, donkeys, uh, sheep, dogs, you, you name it. You know, he was responsible for all that. He's done a lot of work and also he's, he's managing the farm as well. And the farm is a very difficult terrain. Just this morning, we were called by Prof. Dan for an emergency meeting. I drove all the way from Pretoria going to uh, Mahikeng Farm and the students were tutoring at the gate there. But um, uh, 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 Dr. Mutsei showed his cool hand and uh, he's worked very, very, very hard. Uh, this year. I'm really, really appreciative of all the work and I'm appreciative of all the sacrifices these three people have done. But look, <laughs> it's not all of them that uh, we're working. All of us, I think, as a team, but uh, I just thought that, um, I mean, amongst the team, these were the ones that I felt that uh, I need to acknowledge today. Um, I, I want to also say that uh, maybe we made another small error that uh, maybe there are some people that uh, actually deserve these awards as well, but were not recognized. Just like the chemistry department at Mahike for the work they did with COVID-19. All these three colleagues, with the work that we're doing was to do with the COVID-19 to help us to cope with that. Similarly, also um, the chemistry department uh, at Mahike led by Prof. Lebu and Dr. Zimbilem Kiza. So uh, I call that an unspecified award. It's not in the script, but uh, I need to mention um, colleagues, I don't have any envelope, you know, uh, for them. Uh, uh, Prof. Rian is able to get envelope because he's got the linkages with the banks. I don't have, um, but uh, all that I have is just thanks, thanks, thanks. The deanery who has not been congratulated this year, I know they've also put up a lot of work, you know, everybody in the deanery, uh, we've only recognized one person, Prof. Gilbert. Uh, because he's living. If we don't say thank you to him now, we'll miss the boat. But uh, thank you very much, colleagues. Keep the work up. Uh, we, we hope you can continue to do as well as we're doing this year, even next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank Prof. You. Thank, really thank you, Prof. Guidance. Thank you. Back to you, um, GP. Thank you. Professor, we are going to stay with you. So, uh, Professor, don't go far, don't go far from the stage. We are also going to ask you to come and present the Dean's Award for continuous in uh, the faculty. So, Professor uh, Mudise, if you'd like to turn around and uh, join me on stage again, really appreciate it. This is for the, uh, the Dean's Award for continuous excellent work in the faculty. Uh, just for those of you who are wondering now about us waiting for Professor Medice, in the virtual environment, it takes much longer for a person to turn around. Um, so uh, we just we just need to to. Uh, oh, I see that he has as uh, I've just been informed, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, oh the dean is here. Okay, thank is, you uh, for, for for the delay. Um, colleagues, um, this is a special award to um, Prof. Uh, you know, Gilbert. Can I invite him on stage?
Uh, whilst we're waiting for him, I will just continue. Uh, Prof. Gilbert um, has been consistently been uh, contributing towards the, the faculty's um, work uh, over the years. I mean, him as first as an academic and uh, later on as a school director, acting executive dean, and for many, many, many years, um, you know, and uh, really, and uh, at the end of this year, he will be retiring. And we wish to give thanks to all the good work that he has done. And uh, I'm going to miss him, especially because he's got the institutional memory. Somebody spoke about institutional memory. You can ask uh, Prof. Gilbert anything. He will just take from the back of his mind and bring from the files and uh, will give you the whole history of what has happened. Um, I thank him for the support and I thank him for, you know, being um, collegial. Uh, but of course, we are not going to allow him to go, you know, uh, and just retire. You are going to call him back, or just to come back, but in a different way now. Uh, you will come and assist us now just to run, you know, um, the school in terms of teaching and learning. Prof. Gilbert, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please um, enjoy your retirement uh, just for a few weeks and come back again refreshed to help us all. Thank you. Over to you, GP. Thank, thank you, Prof. Gilbert. You want to respond? Sorry. Uh, we'll, uh, he'll have to res respond in person next year. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Professor Medisa. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that uh, uh, concludes all the awards. I'm going to ask Professor Helen Drummond to uh, the stage uh, to bring us to closure on our awards ceremony. Professor Helen, uh, to the stage, please. Thank you, GP. Afternoon. Yeah, I have the pleasant task of just thanking everybody for this ceremony. I'd like to thank GP for being our MC. I think he's done a wonderful job. And of course, Christo for that wonderful music as well. I'd like to congratulate all the award winners and then also to thank all the staff who were here tonight, plus all of those who couldn't be here. Really, you're all winners. And ideally, we'd like to give awards to all of you. But of course, we couldn't do that. So we just had to choose a few. But I think everybody's been absolutely wonderful this year. I'd like to thank Prof. David for hosting this event. Thank you for allowing us to do something like this rather than just letting the year end with a whimper and also Ashley, who did all the organizing. Thank you so much, Ashley. So on behalf of the faculty, I would like to wish you all well and happy, ha have happy holidays. That, of course, depends on what the president says tonight. I hope he's not going to close us down again. I mean, lock us down. Um, lecturing staff, please don't forget to submit your marks before you go on leave, though. And can I end with a traditional garlic blessing? I'm not sure whether it's Irish or Scottish. Um, I'll assume it's Scottish, though. May the, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you. Professor Drummond, thank you so much.